77, 78 years ago when the United States government decided we couldn't do hemp anymore. Um, there's like 60% of the population lived on family farms. Now 1% of the population farms. And there are many, many, many people who would love to start farming. And there's plenty of land. 60 million acres in the United States. 60 million acres that are, that are just laying fallow that we are subsidizing to not grow crops because we've got an abundance of food crops. So, to me, it's not just a financial thing, it's, it's to help jumpstart a bunch of family farms, help people get started in something that they can actually see a profit from. So do you see hemp as something that you could, you know, start out that family farm and plant corn and those other things and have the animals, but it would actually produce a revenue to maintain that lifestyle? Sure. Okay, I, I just That's the idea. Okay. And, and that's what any, any family farmer would want to do. And one of the biggest problems we're having is that young people can't get into farming because they can't afford it. And the ones that do get farming, you know, farmland and equipment passed on down to them, um, just can't do it all by themselves. If a, you know, a family farmer has two or three kids, maybe one of them gets the, the, uh, the land and, and the equipment. So, I don't know. I just see it as a, a way to reverse this trend of having everything prepackaged for us and, and, uh, and unhealthy food and unhealthy products. I mean, environmentally, there's no better thing to be grown than hemp. It takes about half as much water to grow hemp as it does corn or wheat. Half as much. It aerates the soil. I mean, cottage industries and big industries uh, sprout up all over the place because of the byproducts of, of hemp. And so it's good for the economy. It's good for, it's good for everyone.